All right, everybody, I'm going to show you guys a quick fix on how to enable VTX. So say you're in Android Studio creating your first app, and you go ahead and get this message that says VTX is disabled in BIOS. I'm going to show you guys real quick on how to fix that on an HP computer on Windows 10. So what you're first going to do is you're going to go ahead and close out of Android Studio. And you're going to go ahead and just restart your computer. So this is, like I said, it's on HP uh, Pavilion DV6. So you're going to restart your computer. And then once it goes to boot back up, we're going to go to the BIOS menu. Uh, the easiest way to do this for me is just to hit Escape uh, continuously. And then I'll go ahead and hit F10 when the actual menu comes up. So I hit Escape a couple times. Go to the BIOS setup. So I'll go ahead and hit F10. And we're going to go over to system configuration by hitting the right side. And then we're going to go ahead and go to virtual, virtualization technology. We're going to hit enter. And we're going to go up. Hit enter again. And we're going to enable that. And then we're going to hit F10 one more time to save and exit. Which will go ahead and continue to boot up your computer. Or continue to go through the process. So now, when you go into Android Studio and you try to run your app, or you go ahead and go through the emulator, that it'll work. So this is just a real quick fix, and I'll show you guys exactly how that works here. Go ahead, and log in real quick. So I'm just going ahead and creating my first app through Android Studio. So we'll go ahead and type in Android Studio here. I'm going to pop it back up, go to the same exact screen that I was at to run the app, and then I'll show you that that problem has been fixed. But I think most of you guys will run into this when you're creating your first app or you're getting on Android Studio for the first time, because typically that isn't something that's enabled uh, in general. So we're just loading it up for the app Who's Next, which launches here April 1st. So I'll talk about that more in a couple of weeks. So let's load the project. We'll go back into the emulator. We'll go ahead and run it this time. And you will not get that pop-up message this time because you have activated the emulator. You've activated VT-X. And it's going to go ahead and run it this time. Such so is a quick fix. Uh, subscribe and like and leave any comments if you guys have any questions. Uh, pretty simple process. Thanks a lot.